Mr. Bigley. Hey there guys and gals, it's Gerbeagly with another episode of Gaming with Gerbeagly and I'm once again playing the game Life is Strange. We're about to start episode 4 and I'm so sorry for the wait between episodes guys, but after the ending of episode 3, which was a complete curveball to me, I needed a break, like an emotional break from this game. This game went from like a pretty decent game to like a really good game. That was like a crazy butterfly effect moment for me. Really cool stuff. I really, really like Life is Strange so far, but anyway, let's go Go ahead let's get started with episode four this time i remembered not to boot up the game chapter and miss the previously on life is strange segment so you guys get to watch this as well with me all right previously on Aha. life is strange Whoa. i made it look like she was doing cocaine or something oh dang mean old nathan man it feels like some of this stuff was so long ago so crazy like in the grand scheme of things some of these things were only like a few videos ago here, Stop. Don't come oh here man the now. kate it won't work the kate rooftop incident i know this isn't pleasant for any of us miss caulfield please tell us everything hey Stelma and Louise. Oh that man, freaking Frank. Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? Come well, now we know. Right, it was a gift. Max, we have to find Rachel soon. Like you said, it's time to start the search for clues. Welcome to my domain. Let's find what we want and beat it. Max, <laughs> you better come check out these files. Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's creepy. That's it. I was thinking about that. And I was thinking like dark room. I found pictures of Rachel and Frank. Could be where she's like being held hostage. But what if it's a dark room? Like, Frank. Rachel straight up lied to my face. What Why if it's a dark room anything? where you so like develop photos? Me. Because photography is a big of part of this. Hello? No, you don't. Oh man. The new powers to crazy shit you know in this game. To wait for your father to come home when you're a kid. Ever since he died, my life has been dipped in shit. Chloe, I am awesome. We oh, are man. awesome. So crazy. Hello, are you even listening, Maxine? This is totally fucked up. Uh huh. What else have I changed? Max Caulfield. Hold on. Chloe. And then the big you reveal. Dang, dang, dang. Feels like I played this yesterday. I mean, technically, it was only like, what, a week and a half ago, but still. This game is wild. This game is so freaking wild. I really like it a lot. And it said I saw there on the the save file before I uh, booted up that previously on segment that it was an alternate reality. So I guess that's what they call this. All right, moving on into episode four, guys. Here we go. I'm so excited. So excited. Ah, the beach with the dead whales on it. We're going to see those. It's like a little crab scuttling along there. Man, oh man. This game's so artistic. It really is. It's got a lot of great cinematic moments, and I, I really appreciate that in a game, especially one that's this narrative driven. It gives you something nice to look at while it's presenting the story, and it makes it feel like it's a living, breathing world. And that's something that some games lack, and Life is Strange is really able to nail that sort of like cinematic vibe. Someone left their bikes there. They're gonna get stolen. Man. Ugh, poor whales. So, like I was saying at the end of last episode, I think what ended up happening was, obviously we changed Chloe's life in like this humongous monumental way, but we didn't change the rest of the world. We didn't change everything. It feels like the end of the world is still probably on its way, or at least the end of Arcadia Bay is on its way with the big ass tornado and stuff. There's so much going on in this game. There's so many little subplots, and that's what I really, really enjoy about this as well. There's that lighthouse again. I need to find out what the lighthouse has to do with anything. It's so crazy. Oh, they're going for a little walk here. Okay. Join each other's company. Oh, man, those poor whales. Poor, poor whales. Poor it's Chloe, too. Weird hanging out with you again. I know. I'm glad we are, though. 
Mm-hmm. It was nice that you sent me actual letters. It's more than any of my other friends have done. Oh, that's so sad. And you even wrote on that cool parchment paper. It's so Max. <laughs> so pretentious. So artsy. <laughs> I love writing on it like an English poet. Aw. You deserve the best stationery. Aw, that's sweet. Probably easier to write than to visit me. I don't mean that in a bitchy way. Not totally. <laughs> she still got some spunk. You probably wanted to avoid awkward conversations like this. Uh, pretty much. Yeah. Wow. Transparent, at least. The worst thing you can do is treat me like a baby. I still want to laugh and talk shit with my best friend. Yeah. Can we stop? This is seriously the best view of the sunset. What do photographers call that? The golden hour. Aw. See? Without you here, I'd have no clue. Be better without the I dead whales, though. Amazing shots. Those beached whales are so sad. Mm-hmm. Especially because there's like, wh holy they're crap, alive. like five? At least I'm alive here with you. Aw. Well, that's a good way to look at it. You're a real survivor, Chloe. I know you have to deal with so much. I don't want anybody else feeling sorry for me. I can do that. Along with my parents. My dad still feels guilty about buying me that car. Okay. That was something that I was actually predicting as what happened here is because the universe didn't get to take William's life with the car crash. What ended up happening was Chloe got that uh, car for her birthday in the rewritten flashbacks. And I think what happened, well, obviously what happened is that she got into the car accident instead of her dad. Uh, it's almost like fate catching up with her family. Talk about accident, blame William. Ugh, I'm not going to blame William. That's really messed up. Let's talk about that accident. Are you okay to talk about the accident? We never actually have, huh? There's not much to say. Some prick in an SUV cut me off and I flew into a ditch. Oh, no. Remember everything? I saw everything in bullet time. I felt my back snap and... And that was the last thing I ever felt in my body. Oh, that's horrible. When I woke up in the hospital, I literally couldn't move a muscle. Oh. Jesus. I, I don't know what to say. Don't say anything. I'm just happy I did get to see you again. I could have ended up vanishing out of the blue like that girl from Blackwell. Oh, Rachel. You mean Rachel or what missing girl? Oh, you know what? I bet she's never met Rachel in this timeline because she wasn't able to like go to school. She wasn't able to go out and socialize with other people. Uh, she wouldn't have had the ability to go out and look for a new friend after Max left the way that she did in the other timeline. So yeah, I'm gonna bring up like, you mean Rachel? Not what missing girl? And then see what she has to say. You mean Rachel Amber? When was the last time you talked to her? Uh, never. I just read about her in the news. Yeah, okay, oh, wow. So she doesn't even know her. You did? This is such a different world than when we were kids, isn't it? That's an understatement, After Max. After snow and eclipse, it's more like the end of the world. <laughs> you are right on the nose with that. Uh, you think it might be or don't say that. Uh, I feel like... Don't say that. We can fix things. We can don't fix them. Say that. I'm not trying to bum you out. It just seems like Arcadia Bay is having a meltdown. I know things seem mm -hmm. out of control, but as long as we're together, I don't feel afraid. Hanging Aww. out with you makes me feel like a total kid again. You don't even know. Listen, Chloe, I'm sorry I haven't been out to see you more. That was wrong. Aw, Max. You're a sweetie. You're my best friend. Max. I love Max. Thanks for coming out to see me. Aw. You're doing awesome. I don't think so. Um, oh. My, my nose is getting cold. Maybe we should get back to my place? Yeah, let's hang out it there. It's hella cold out here. Hella? I hate that word. <laughs> oh, if only she knew herself from the other reality. So maybe not everything is something that went wrong in this alternate reality. She doesn't like the phrase hella. <laughs> oh. There's a sweet little moment. It's nice that Max basically knew that this Chloe was also going to resent her a little bit for not visiting, not staying in touch as much as uh, as she could have. So that's kind of nice that Max at least apologized directly. 
instead of waiting for Chloe to maybe have like a meltdown and blow up on her or something. Again, it's zooming in on that lighthouse there, panning over to the lighthouse. Something, guys. Something special about that freaking lighthouse. Something weird. All right, time to hang out at home. Maybe eat some of Joyce's cooking again? Maybe hang out with William now that he's alive? Be very bizarre to do so after you've known that someone's been Pretty dead forever. Lair. Feels like a high tech cell. But I am lucky my parents bust their ass to take care of me. Mm hmm. I know it's hard for them. They're grateful you are here with them. Exactly. Right. Especially when they can't even take a walk alone. Sometimes Aww. I act like a total teenage brat just to give them an excuse to yell at me. Pathetic, I know. No, that's not pathetic. You're a great daughter. You're just in pain. You're kind and sensitive when you don't even have to be. Trust mm -hmm. me, I still get my rage on. <laughs> Especially when a nurse has to watch while I take a dump so she can wipe my bum. Oh. Or when doctors flip me around like I was a science doll. Oh, jeez. Poor Chloe. But you're still amazing. You always have been since we were kids. Thanks again for coming, Max. I, uh, <clears throat> need to get my drink on. Oh? Uh, can you, can you... Oh, some, some of that good old H2O. H2O, oh, yeah. Okay, finally, we're in control now. Oh, man, poor Chloe. This is so wild. I'm so glad that Max, at the very least... Like, obviously, she feels a little bit of guilt, or a lot of bit of guilt, because she's the one who went into the past and screwed around with stuff, but, like... Yeah, I don't know. It, she is saying a lot of nice things that to Chloe. Her mighty morphine machine. Mighty morphine. Wow, Max. No more bongs for her. Mm-hmm. Instead of handing Chloe a bong, I'm feeding her water. Did I give her a choice? No, you didn't really. Although, knowing the Chloe from the original timeline, she would want to at least see what her life was like with her dad still alive. Oh, man. She has to use that ventilator just to breathe. Hmm, that's so sad. At least Chloe doesn't weigh that much. Oh, because this is like a machine meant to get her out of bed and stuff. Probably put her in her chair. Ah, that's so sad. I'm glad I took this photo. Chloe has a new memory of William and her together. Sure, but at what cost? Ah, that is so sad. Oh, that's the one that we did, yeah, when we were in the past. That's right. Does Chloe look at the garden and think about her childhood? Probably. She can't even feel the grass now. It's so sad. This is like bumming me out. That's a serious heat lamp. Mm-hmm. Probably to help with like circulation and stuff since she can't move around very much. Hello, Chloe. <laughs> she likes fluffy animals now. <laughs> I like the hot dog guy. <laughs> oh, and that's a cute bear too. Snow doe? Oh. oh the snow doe. I guess not everything changed. Is that the snow globe that we almost that broke? So cool that you're here again. Yeah, sorry to make I'm you wait for the water. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just being a snoop, as I usually am. Also, that dough is a recurring theme in this game, too. Snow globes are taking over. Mm-hmm. Holy crap. It's a lot of them. I like the skateboard one. That's pretty dope. Oh, man. Oh, man. I still can't believe I put Chloe in that chair. Yeah. Technically, although technically it was also the, you know, the jerk who cut her off in his SUV. Chloe's message board since the accident sure looks lonely. Oh, it's so sad. I didn't add much. Bad, Max. Yeah, but to be fair, it's sort of like I was talking about before, where it's like really weird when you go back to the present after you've changed something in the past. There's like almost that paradox where it's like... Oh, that's so sad. I should have kept more in touch. Yeah, that's for sure. But you weren't in control of your own actions. That's what I was talking about. Is like when you go back to the present, you literally don't have any idea of what you did during the rest of your past. You only know that one decision you made in the past that changed everything, and then you're thrown into this present that's based off of decisions that you didn't consciously make. That's so weird how alternate timelines work like that. It's nice my parents sent a card at least. Oh, that is nice. Okay, what did they say? Chloe, you know we love you and you're in our hearts and thoughts. We hope to see your smiling face soon. Please be well, Ryan and Vanessa Caulfield. Oh, that's so sad that they didn't visit though. 
thinking of you. I wonder who this is. Dear Can Chloe. Generic card. Dear Chloe, I am so sorry for what happened. Know that I'm here for you. If you need anything, I hope you feel better and I hope to see you again. Megan. Yeah, who's Megan? Oh, that's very nice that someone wrote something like that to her, I though. I wasn't very available to Chloe. Real nice. Oh, geez. Chloe, just thought I'd drop you a quick note to let you know I'm thinking about you. I feel so lame writing shit like I hope you are well, etc. I know your life is so different now. And I don't want that to get in the way of our friendship. Yes, I haven't been around lately, but that will change soon. I hope you are well. Love, Max. At the very least, she did follow through and come and visit her now. But yeah, that's like once again, like she doesn't Max doesn't remember writing this because her brain is from the other reality here in this reality. And it's like, oh, damn, maybe did I turn into somewhat of an asshole? I mean, she is part of the Vortex Club now. At least I sent road trip selfies to Chloe. I'm sure that made her feel great. Oh, I mean, you're just trying to treat her like normal, I guess. And there's something good about that, too, sometimes. She's got the hot dog on her shirt also, the one that was the plushie. Max is so cute, too. Look at her. She's adorable. Oh, man. Max, don't feel bad you didn't do this. I mean, you did, but you didn't do the, you know... You didn't make some of these decisions that make you sad. Man, Joyce and William built a whole new bathroom for Chloe. They're so great. Yeah, well, where are we in the house exactly? Are we in the... Wait, is this where the garage used to be? Or like where David's like creepy David surveillance room is? Ever. Yep, I am. I don't want to disappoint you. Exactly. <laughs> I have to be. I have to look at everything. That's the rule in these games. For Chloe. Not that I can, but it would be fun. Yeah, she might want to do that. Mouth control joystick. That is so incredible. And she can browse cat videos on the web. Chloe is still a punk at heart, but she can't stage dive anymore. Oh, that's so sad. Black flag tribute band. That's so cool that Chloe has made friends online. Yeah, that's good. Miss Blue, so what are you doing? Ignatius says, talking with you, haha, no shit. I'm about to binge on Quantum Leap. Oh my god, love Scott Bakula. Or love, Scott Bakula rules. So do you, I hope we can meet soon. Not if you're in San Francisco. Uh, hey, I have to take care of some body work. Let me get back to you while you're uh, binging on Bakula. You better, hello? Aw. Well, at least, yeah, she has some people to talk to in the Hot Wheels chat room. Oh boy, what a name for chat room. Ah, oh, jeez. Whoa, Chloe can totally control her computer. Mm-hmm. It's so great people get this high-tech help. Yeah, there's a, uh, for those of you guys who don't know, I work with this charity organization called Able Gamers that provides peripherals like this for people who are disabled. So that kind of strikes near and dear to my heart because there are people who don't have full use of like their hands uh, the way that most of us do. And sure uh, nope. now, huh? it does, but it's still you. I don't want to interrupt their interactions because this is like all so crazy and wild. Uh, but the peripherals will help people with disabilities be able to do things like play games the same way someone with two functioning hands or all functioning fingers or whatever are able to. So uh, there is tech like that that really exists, which is really wild. There's the old Chloe. Mm-hmm. Punk bracelet. Sweet. All right, let's get her her water. Made her wait long enough. I feel kind of bad. Drink up, buttercup. Oh. Max, you're a sweetie. You really are. Oh, man. No wonder my throat is dry. I don't think I've talked this much the whole year. Have you ever thought about doing a podcast or something? <laughs> That's a good idea. I wish I could punch your face right now. <laughs> a podcast? Aw, oh, she's not into it. Pod in a cast. Boring. Aw. Ouch. It was just a thought. There's a podcast for everything, though. Someone would be now. interested. <sighs> yeah, that's become a bad habit of mine. You sound like an adult now. Seems like we were kids in another life. Technically, yeah. Uh, you're right. Seems like yesterday, or what do you remember? Uh, yeah, what do you remember? Maybe I can piece together part of my past by doing this. What do you remember about us as kids? We all have different memories. That's for sure. I think about us as little pirates running and jumping through Arcadia Bay. Aw, cute. Me too. But we're still pirates in our own way. Uh, yeah, right. Check me out. Chloe of the Caribbean. No way will I get on a fucking boat now. Unless you're with me. Oh, that could As be arranged. See, I can't keep all my other friends away. Which friends? Uh, you have me. I'm going to say... Oh, that's so sad. I'm going to say you have me, at least. I'm still here for you, Chloe. You have me. 
I'm not leaving you, Chloe. Oh, um, Max. You miss me a lot either. I mean, oh. I loved your cards and photos, but I know I wasn't around much. No excuses. I'm a loser. But I am trying to make things. And that's what matters, Max. Dude, you're not super Max. Uh, and I'm not trying actually, to you. that's what my parents are for. Oh, geez. Uh, are they OK? Are you lonely or they love you? I'm going to say they love you. They love you, Chloe. They love you so much. It's true. I know. My mom and dad are so cute. Aw. They always pop in here and make sure everything's okay with me. That's sweet. I think Joyce and William are incredible. Max, the accident has been so hard on them. I bet. Our it's also sad. It sucks and the medical bills are fucking insane. I bet. Can they pay? Uh, I feel like can they pay is a little personal, so I'll just be like, yeah, I bet. That's that's awful. I mean, the health insurance here in America is is trash, for those of you who don't know. It's not good. I bet this tech must be crazy expensive. Mm -hmm. Along with the drugs, the nurses, the supplies. Mom and dad are always broke and they get so frustrated. Is it worth it? Chloe, you're priceless. Uh, <laughs> no pun intended. Oh, because uh, of Chloe <laughs> Price. <laughs> That's why I love you. Aww. Of course, I know a geek when I be one. See, I'm practically a human entertainment system. It would be sweet to chill out together and watch a movie like when you'd spend the night at my house. Aw. What do you want to watch? Yeah, let's do that. Uh, let's watch a movie. I think I'm in like a, a mellow Blade Runner mood. Aw, oh, hell yeah. Good that choice, Chloe. Plus, you know, I always wanted to have cool colored bangs like Pris. Good I choice. Know. You would look incredible with blue hair. Oh, that's so I sad. Like show on the road. And you better not fall asleep on me like you always do when you watch movies. I remember Max. <laughs> Swear I won't fall asleep. Oh. Not when you're here. Not yet. That's so sad. Like this whole thing is making me sad. Stop. <laughs> Ooh, I can root around in her drawers now though. I can't wait to watch a movie with you. The DVDs are near the TV. Yeah, Blade oh, good choice. I love Blade Runner. <laughs> permission to snoop. Granted. But medical supplies. Heck yeah, I'm gonna guess use a tissue. Oh, I'm gonna use it on her. Oh, that's so sweet. Max, you are a sweetie. Thanks. I uh, think you missed a grain stuck in my eyeball. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Hard to believe how just a little sand can cause such a big mess. It's like that Chinese proverb. A spark can start a fire that burns the entire prairie. You know, like the butterfly thing. Oh, shit. <laughs> so I've heard. The butterfly effect. The thing that's literally dictated this entire game. Oof. She has to use a lot of lotion to keep her blood circulating. Oh, jeez. Oh, why you gotta make me so sad, game? Why you gotta do this to me? Wow, sir. Oh. Chloe was a straight A student. She could have gone to any college. Oh man. So like in the other reality when she said her dad dying is really what changed everything, it really was what changed everything. That's so sad. So she actually like applied herself with her dad around and he was probably like a really great influence on her to like make sure she did her homework and she was amazing at it. What a bastard. Oh, I totally man. should have let Chloe steal your bullshit phone. Oh, damn. Even if it wasn't another reality. Uh, as principal, I'm in sympathy for your numerous requests for Chloe's special needs in regards to her wheelchair and class accessibility, etc. Blackwell prides itself in making sure students with disabilities receive full compliance under the Americans with Disabilities Act. However, given that the campus and buildings have all been constructed pre-1977, our school has not yet undergone the modern renovations necessary to fulfill all the... Oh, no. That's so sad. So she wasn't able to stay at Blackwell after the accident because they wouldn't accommodate financially to like upgrade the school and make sure that like it was accessible to her wheelchair and stuff, uh, which would be the job of that handicap fund that we found in the other episode. So, yeah, man, Principal Wells, you're like just a bad dude. You're just like a shitty person. What a douche. So sad. God dang, man. This game. Despite everything. They're still a happy family again. That is true. She's got both her parents. It's cool that in this reality, Chloe really loves skating, too. Yeah, it's just a shame she can't do it. Aw, such a bummer. 
This guy's wearing a horse mask. <laughs> I like that the magazine was like, for skaters only. No one who's a skater or who's not a skater can read this. All right, let's snoop some more. Okay, so it's going to be in one of these drawers, I'm assuming. Ah, here's the DVD. I got it. What about this drawer, though? Oh, my God. I made that mix for her when we were 12. Oh, that's so cute. Mix CDs. Mixtape CDs are so great. All right, we got Blade Runner. Once again, good choice. For those of you guys who have not seen the movie Blade Runner, awesome movie. I wonder if the reason that she chose it is due to the fact that, like, the whole idea behind it is some of the people are more machine than people, and she might feel that way being hooked up to all these machines and things. Yeah, we have a movie Something deep like that. I don't know. I'm 14, and this is deep. Aw, oh, heck yeah. Good classic flick pick. Poor Chloe, though. Gosh, this is insane. Like, Chloe was a bitch in the other universe, but she did not deserve any of this. This is awful. And Max doesn't deserve this guilt. She was just trying to help. But once again, it's like the idea of with great power comes great responsibility. And when you use your power in a selfish way to try to help your friend. Like, granted, it wasn't that selfish because it was for someone else, but it was someone that Max was directly linked to. Then bad things can happen. You might mess up things. Oh, man. Uh-oh, what happened? Oh, God. Don't tell me she, like, died overnight or something. I'm going to be so mad. Oh, no. Chloe, please still be alive. Uh... Uh oh. Oh, okay. She blinked. For a second, it was like, she's not moving. No. All right. Max took a little napsy doodle, though. Max, how could you sleep through Blade Runner? It's a great movie. I cannot believe you fell asleep so fast. How dare you? Aw. <laughs> I know you were beat down after the day with me. Oh, don't say it like that. A pretty dreamy movie to watch at night. Now that part's true. Uh, do, you, do you think Deckard is a replicant? <laughs> oh, I love that theory. Sorry, That's like I one of the best film theories. No, I'm sorry I crashed so hard. Were you okay? I do have a mother and father when you're not falling asleep on me. Oh. You are a bitch in the morning. <laughs> the I keep. <laughs> wow, clapped back. Yesterday was such a blast. Oh, well, we can have more days like that. Seeing you. But I'm going to try to find a way to fix things, I feel like. Dorky kids, but being with you made me feel like when we were little pirates jumping and running through the forests again. Oh. It meant a lot to me just to chill out with you and, and bullshit. Oh. <sighs> Fuck. Um, I'm getting my regular head pains. Uh. Can you pretty please go upstairs and get my my morphine injector in the bathroom? Yes, absolutely. It's uh, it's total Star Trek shit. <laughs> you can't even see the needle. Oh, that's it's good for me, needed. especially. My I hate needles. Keep this wag upstairs because they think I can't get to it. But you can, Max. Like a pirate, right? Oh. I'm on it, Chloe. Yeah, we'll help you out. Oh my gosh, it's so sad, so sad. Okay. So, are you sure it isn't too weird for you to be hanging out with me like this? No. Uh, kind of or no way. I'm going to say no way. I'm going to be nice. No nice, way. nice, nice. I don't want you to feel weird. My life is just so different than yours. I mean, we can't just bounce out of here and I'll be doped up half the day in pain. So that's cool. Aww. But I do feel grateful I can see the ocean. That I have parents who love me. Aw. And that my best friend is here with me today. Exactly. So, what else do you need? Well, hot monkey sex with you guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look. I made Maxine blush. <laughs> so, are you dating anyone at Blackwell? Uh, I don't know. Uh, I'm too busy to date. That's for sure. I would have been dating you. I dated you kind of in the other reality. Also, it's great that Chloe is 
like keeping in mind that she does have some good things going for her. She has found the silver lining in some of her situation and she's appreciative of her parents and just the fact she's alive in general and the fact that Max wants to see her and talk to her. And that's almost like commentary on the other reality that, yeah, she was like this miserable bitch a lot of the time, but ultimately deep down, like Max just being her friend and being there for her meant more than anything, even more probably than her dad being alive. So it's pretty crazy. All right. I'm too busy, though. Oh, I'm too busy with school and photography. Oh, yeah. Please. You can't be an artist unless you experience life. That includes boys, girls, whatever. <laughs> this guy, Warren, asked me out, but I turned him <laughs> Poor <down>. Warren. <laughs> now he's with somebody else. His loss. Good for him, though. You need to move on, girl. Plenty of fish in the bay. <laughs> oh, shit. I sound like my dad. Uh, that's okay. How is William? How's your daddy? How's William? That wasn't supposed to sound as weird as it was. I'm sorry. Like having him around. Of course. He's my hero. I swear he would do anything for me or mom. I wish I could do something for him. Oh, that's you sweet. Have. He's a good guy. You're here with your family. Exactly. More like they're here for me. But then so are you. So it's all good. Aw. Sorry, I need to rest for a moment. Okay. Yeah, no problem. You do whatever you want to do, and I'm just here to help fulfill your requests and hang out like a good friend does. All right, let's open this. We'll find out where we are in the house. Oh, yeah, so that totally was David's creepy surveillance room. Now it's Chloe's room. Can I turn on the TV? They no. gave Chloe their giant expensive HD TV, and they use her shitty tube television. Oh, they're good parents. Uh, oh, oh, it's Victoria. Oh, that's right, because in this reality, we're friends for whatever reason. Come by my room tonight. Max, are we cool? Just wanted to make sure since you walked away so fast. Nathan was worried, too. So I'm friends with both Victoria and Nathan in this reality. Nathan is either a crazy psychopath jerk still, or maybe he's not one at all. Um, and, like, maybe we just, like, let his bad behavior slide if he is still a crazy psychopath jerk. I don't know. This is just this is wild. This is weird. If you want to talk, hit me up, Kay. Love you. Max, if you're mad, just tell me, Kay. Silence. So if you want to talk, my door's open. Love you. So, man, oh, man, oh, man. We must have something that Victoria wants if she's this needy and trying to, like, be our friend. Or maybe we really did become best friends with her and, like, we share our artistic passion or whatever. I don't know. It's, it's weird. Everything's so weird. Everything's so weird. Chloe sent us a text, too. Um, it's been too long. Ah, uh, getting together and stuff. Whoa, okay, yeah, so these are like alternate reality texts. All this is stuff that we had sent in the past, but like we weren't aware of. Alyssa, uh, Alyssa, I saw you throw that TP at me. I was so not aiming at you, I swear. Don't do it again. Oh my gosh. Uh, it's a shame you hang out with those people who thought you were different. Man, oh man, so yeah, I guess I, uh, I guess I'm part of the popular clique and I'm kind of a jerk and... Man, this is so weird. I have to look through all this stuff. Uh, maybe it's time to go digital. Call you later. Don't pout. Love you. Hey, honey, I hope you didn't forget to water the plant we gave you. But don't drown it either. Yeah, I already did that. And the other reality, too. Taylor, we're friends with. Uh, do do. Max, thanks again for taking me to see my mom. I think she wants you for a daughter instead of me. Think not. Your mom's a badass like you. Yeah, right. I cried like a bitch. So did I. You just didn't see me. It's okay to cry. It gets old. My stupid phone is about to die, so call me back. So yeah, I'm, I'm friends with all the Vortex Club members now, which is super weird. Uh, and they all like me, and I'm still, like, nice to them the same way that I was in the other reality. But now we're actually, like, friend friends. It's, like, almost, like, foreshadowing what happened in the other reality when they were, like... You know what? If circumstances were different, we could have been friends because, like, I was so nice to everybody. And it seems like, yeah, circumstances are different this time around. And I am friends with everyone. Just so weird. Uh, Dad's text is the same. Okay. All right. Oh, Nathan sent me another one. Uh, or did I not read this one? Yo, yo, Max, you around in the dark room developing shots for the contest suite. So no two whales for you. Not yet. I'll see you guys later, though. Peace out. Okay. Yeah, weird. Or like buddy buddy with Nathan. Everybody. Oh my god, that's so strange. So weird to see all this kind of thing. Uh what? What was that? I saw an arrow. I think it was just a glitch through the wall of something. 
This is very bizarre. Ooh, a paper. Let's look. Damn. This oh. is just for Chloe's basic supplies. That's so sad. Very sad to see. Eiffel Tower. Bonjour. That's great they finally went to Paris. Did they? Well, that that is good then. Oh, so now I have something to like bring up to people when I talk to them. That's kind of neat. Can I go outside and see what's different out there? Uh, ooh, there's something. I don't know what this I is. I think that our destiny is linked to goddamn car keys. I mean, you did save William's life, but yeah, it's just weird. Oh, it's just open. Nice. All right. Well, we can go out here. We can look in on Chloe. I'm glad Chloe gets a room with a view. Mm-hmm. The lawn? What? Why oh, would we man. look at grass? The swing is gone. Oh, because, yeah, she wouldn't need it. It must have been sad for Chloe when William took it down. That is so sad. Chloe actually moved our drawing so she could see it from her room. Aww. Chloe. That's so sweet. So sweet, so sad. Everything is very bittersweet here. Butterflies! I'm sorry, Bongo Kitty. But you passed on before I changed this reality. Aw, poor kitty! No, you could have saved the kitty if you went back farther! Oh my god, all the dead birds. Ugh. Look at all these dead birds. Yeah. Ugh, it's just a trash Something can full of dead too. birds. Ugh. Yuck. The house looks so great. William finally had the time to paint the house. I was going to say, because William was home to work on it all. Jeez, oh, all the consequences of that one action of hiding the keys. Newspaper. These whales are just a preview of the tornado to come. And the Prescott Foundation? Uh-oh. Jesus. Rachel Amber is even missing in this reality. I guess I can't change everything. Yeah. I mean, the butterfly effect only ripples so far. But obviously it has some really, really major intense consequences. No change to spare anymore. Now it's back to cookies. Food coupons. Choices of food coupon, boss. Gotta save that money somehow. Especially with everything they're dealing with. So sad. Uh oh, someone's gotta do dishes. It's pretty gross in here. Oh, I don't think Joyce's tips will cover all this. Oh. Hi, William. Let's let's snoop. They What's he working on? Home taken away because of medical bills. Oh no. That's terrible. They have so many overdue bills. Poor people. Hey, William. Um, am I bothering you? Why, yes, Max. I love going through bills. <laughs> <laughs> Kidding. Ah. How can you bother me? I haven't seen you Still in such a likable guy. I know. You look exactly the same. <laughs> it's so cool. Good. Or I'd be a scared if I didn't look like me. <laughs> <laughs> what was course, that accent? More adult now. So what's on your mind? Uh, care room, Chloe. What else do we got? Paris trip. Oh, yeah, we could bring up the Paris trip. Um, yeah, let's bring that up. So you finally made it to Paris. We, oui, as they say, <laughs> not me because I can't speak French, but <laughs> it was a great experience, especially for Chloe. Aww. I can see her loving it there. You guys rock for going on a family adventure like that. Mm -hmm. She talked about going to school there, but that's not practical anymore. Oh, that's so sad. It's not fair, Max. It's not. Oh. What about that care room you set up? It's pretty sweet. Chloe's room and all the high-tech equipment. Yeah. You should be. We could buy a few mansions for what it all costs. Oh, bummer. The insurance helps, but I, I don't know, Max. Oh, I know it must so sad. be hard on you guys financially. These bills are more like crushing. We have to mortgage our home, and that's pretty scary. But, but we'll get through it. The price is always right. Oh, jeez. <laughs> no? Always making jokes. Always making jokes. What a what a nice guy. Feel so I don't bad know for how him. To say this, but I'm truly sorry about what happened to Chloe. Mm -hmm. Me too. All it takes is a few minutes to change a girl's whole life, but she's alive. She's been a trooper. Oh, is she mad at me or glad you're here? And he said something very profound there. Like my biggest pet peeve ever is people who are irresponsible drivers. Like it's one thing if you're irresponsible with your own life, but the fact that you're behind a half ton vehicle driving around at very high speeds, you can really hurt someone. You can really change someone else's destiny with your actions. So just something to think about when you're on the road. 
Uh, I'm gonna say glad you're here. She is amazing. I'm so glad you're here to help her. And be her father. Just sucks the other so alternative is, is to help us what both. it is. Max, I just hate to think of what would happen to Chloe if I wasn't here. Aw, oh, jeez. William, I just want you to know that whatever happens, I'll always be here for Chloe. Mm-hmm. Always. I know you will, Max. Oh. All right, Joyce is the last thing to Being talk about. Being around you and Joyce again is so nostalgic. Where is Joyce, by the way? Is she working? Very old school, as they say. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's great for Chloe to see you. Makes Joyce happy, too. So, it's not all bad news in Arcadia Bay. Or is it? I mean, there is a giant tornado coming. Crazy weather, Rachel Amber, Prescott family. Oh, my gosh. Uh, these are all bad things. <laughs> Rachel Amber? Oh, yeah, she went to Blackwell, right? Oh, poor thing. That's a real nightmare for a family. Mm -hmm. I get scared thinking about Chloe and that we might lose her someday. Oh, no. That is such a sad, scary thing for a parent. Crazy weather. What do you think is going on with all of this crazy weather and animals dying? Nobody knows, right? It is Nostradamus type shit, pardon my French. <laughs> but all I actually care about now is Chloe Swear and jar. Joyce. My family. Oh, he was a really devoted dude. The Prescott family might be bad news. What do you think about They that? are bad news. Evil. Next question. <laughs> Dang. Like well. More than I want to. But Joyce has to work for those greedy bastards at Pan Estates. Oh no, Joyce had to get like a like different it. job. I have to go see if Chloe needs anything. Yeah, we are making her wait a long so time for the morphine. You, you act like it's the last time. And please, keep me from oh, these boy. bills whenever you want. If only you knew, William. If only you knew, dude. I definitely have to take a third job. Oh, no. Poor dude, I feel so bad. I messed up a lot. I'm sorry. Like, some things are better and some things are worse. There's no, like, solution that would make everything right. They're drowning in debt. Just to take care of their daughter. Such bullshit. It is bullshit. Due to recent state and federal cuts, we regret to inform you that your health insurance no longer covers Chloe's physical rehab. Oh my gosh. Standard rate of $1,200 per week? My God, that is crazy. It's so sad. Joyce and William never had a garage sale before. Oh, they're giving away a bunch of their stuff just to try to make ends meet. Oh God, this makes me so sad. This reality sucks. It really does. Like, it's great that, you know, William is alive again. But overall, this is, it's not good stuff. But anyway, before I explore more and finally get Chloe her pain medication that she's been waiting patiently for, I'm going to end this episode here, guys. Uh, this was a nice little introduction to episode four. This is uh, way different than things were in the other reality, that's for sure. But like I said, I have this gut feeling, and I don't know, and obviously no one spoiled this for me, but I have this gut feeling that Max is going to try to find a way to fix things. She's going to try to change things. And if she doesn't, man, that's a hell of a curveball for this game to throw at me, too. If this is like the rest of the game is in this reality. Like, things are really, really wild right now. I like the storytelling in this game. I like the whole idea of, like, the bittersweet moments that are happening where some things are like, yeah, way better because, like, well, Williams is around and like the house got improved and all this other stuff that's like actually a good thing but then you're reminded Chloe is absolutely paralyzed has so many health issues the family's in debt uh, there's just a lot of things going on mixed emotions it's a big old grab bag of things going on but hopefully you guys enjoyed this start to episode four if you did please be sure to hit the like button subscribe to the channel and as always it was great seeing you bye Sir Piggly!